Oh, you've just missed it. The fans just started going. For anyone who's got, anyone who's got a wood burning stove, I recommend these fans that you put on the top. Um, and the heat, once it gets to a certain heat, some sort of science happens with the electrical, there's like an electrical, some science happens. <laughs> Just some science happens, mate. And then the fan starts uh, going 10 to a dozen. It's not going so fast now, but it'll speed up the hotter the fire gets. And so instead of the heat just going straight up to the ceiling, it blasts it out over there and it's set in into the room and into the house. Just warms the whole house up. So anyone who's got a wood burning stove, I recommend these fans, mate. <laughs> and it helps dry the old sliced oranges out. Anyway, <laughs> here we are. Let's stop going about that. Look how cosy it is in here. Cometh the hour, cometh, cometh the jumper. Uh, shout out whoever said it looked like a a loading screen for a. Um, Commodore 64 or whatever he said, that is, you know, a few people rip me and rip me very well for having this jumper and very, some very funny comments, but that one, <laughs> the loading screen did me, absolutely did me. Right, let's brew up. Let's have a brew here. A Christmas brew. It couldn't be more Christmassy, could it? Let's have a brew. <laughs> right, hold on. We'll be back in a minute with Kel. Ow. This should have been out in wilderness. I know that. But yesterday, I mean, it didn't come till it didn't dark and um, I had planned on going up to uh, the Lake District and doing a wild camp up top. Uh, and I just couldn't get the, mo I couldn't find the motivation in me, man. I was just absolutely done in all day. I couldn't get motivated. Just didn't feel like myself. I had little, uh, this little guy on shoulder say, do it, do it, just hide. <laughs> he gets on shoulder and he just says, hide, hide under covers. Oh, I just feel like being right under sea. You know, like 50 metres under sea hiding from everyone and everything. So I had that feeling, so I couldn't, I just couldn't pull myself off out of the house just to do out. With fire on and that, I was just zonked. Just couldn't move. No motivation, so I promised myself that I would get up early doors and head out. There she is. <laughs> I'm out to test my new aero press. What better way to enjoy a fresh coffee than enjoying the sunrise? I'm going to find some shelter near this rock and then that'll give me this beautiful view. The light still isn't brilliant, but uh, I don't want to start making me brew until this beast has come up. Where is she? There she is. Sheltered beneath these rocks uh, with a lovely view. <laughs> hey. Hey, bye, Ek. There she be. Big orange need it to warm digits up a little bit. Who am I kidding? That is a glorious sight, mate. Look. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where 
worth getting up and coming out early for. And it's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. So I don't know when you'll be seeing this. You maybe hopefully you'll be seeing it on Christmas Day. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It is stunning. <laughs> A beautiful morning, regarde. Can you see it? Oh mate. Great. Great gear. Great gable. Great. Right. Come on then. Let's get a brew on. MSR. A pocket rocket too, I believe. I believe. Don't quote me on it though. Gas stabilization unit. Installed. Clean canteen. And a bit of water in. Uh, not too much. Beautiful. Had to set alarm though to get up to to get out here but it was definitely worth it definitely worth it uh, uh, whew, sporadic and unprofessional it boulder was a coming in luck here I was making me brew and I was filming me going through the going through the aeropress a young lad turned up with his bouldering mat to do a bit of bouldering so I felt like a bit of a wally just talking about coffee next to him and I got chatting to him he was a good kid so I didn't feel <laughs> I didn't film me coffee I've come way up here to God to film me using my new aeropress I didn't do it so there you go but I had a nice little chat with him and I had a couple of hand warmers in my bag that I gave him said put these in your pocket mate in between each climb, put your hands in your pocket and warm your digits up. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna get up onto the top of here. I wish I had a zoom on this thing. <sighs> Lovely morning. Right, let's get back to the crib and have a look at this aero press. Uh, back in digs. It's a different kettle of fish in digs, isn't it? It was cold out there 
uh, and it is Christmassy AF in here <clears throat> and it can make up to three espressos so three cups of coffee with one shot a piece in perfect for two people perfect for one person comes with um, 350 micro filters so that's a lot of brews you get your filter into the filter cap That goes in. Listen, I'm not filming this very well, am I? Just having to show you. That's how it is for this one. Sorry. Last few vids have been quite exciting, haven't they? Now look at me. <sighs> Sat in my front room making a brew. <laughs> Christmas Eve though, so... That's how it is, mate. That's how it is. Christmas Eve for me, Christmas Day for you. So... There you go. Folding stirrer. Fair enough. Stir for about 10 seconds. Insert plunger. <laughs> okay, going it's so tight the air just presses it through. Aero press. Keep going till you feel it not going anymore. The resistance against the ground. So there you go. And that should be it, mate. Just remove the filter cap, push and then the puck of coffee will come out probably throw that on fire can't I and then obviously you can add your hot water your milk your sugar your cheese strings whatever you want to put in it to make it the coffee of your choice that smells good and this is just uh, you know not so much for my bushcraft camps when I'm gonna be um, out and about in woods because I'd much rather use fire well who knows but who knows right and then you pop it out hey pops out the perfect little puck get that on fire for this time and then you'll just give it a rinse and that's done That's good. I mean, it's only going to be as good as the coffee that I've got in it, but. That is nice. Because the other little coffee percolator jobby that I've got, it's sometimes, you, sometimes you get a bit of a burnt flavor to it. A bit, it, it if you don't catch it straight away, it can, um, it, yeah, it can be a bit too much. Well, that is smooth. Mm. Woo! That's me wired, look. So when fully packed up in the mug, it weighs 11.4 ounces for all you uh, ultralights or people that care about your weight, which you should do if you're doing long distance hiking. Hey, up it's snowing. It couldn't... <laughs> it's snowing. Jumpers on. Lights are up trees. I'll show you this, look. Everything's all made, everything's made on tree, look. It's all slices of grapefruit, lime, oranges. These garlands are um, popcorn and uh, berries. There's dried flowers on it. So, all biodegradable, Except, and this is made out of wood. How can you see, can you tell what it is yet? No, sorry, especially with jump on. There you go, look, shout out Pippa. Oh, wait there. Shout out Pippa and Johnny. From the Christmas tree decoration, handmade. <laughs> Thanks very much guys. Uh, pride of place on well not pride of place because I've got Rudolph on top, I've got a deer skull on top with a, a little red light for a nose, <laughs> which my daughter thinks is ace, <laughs> thankfully. Right, that's it man, that's it. It's Christmas, it's probably Christmas Day now as you read. Should I put this out at the same time as Queen's Speech? 
<laughs> if I just wanted something to, uh, something that could afford me to, something that could enable me to have a nice, a nice brew when I'm up a mountain, and it's not so much the brew because, to be honest, I'm not that much of a coffee snob. I'm happy with them three and one sachets, but what I do like about coffee is I like the ritual of making it, and this is a nice little ritual, a ritual and reward, and it's nice to be at a, to take that that luxury up a mountain with you so I look forward to using that next year <laughs> it's been a mad one on it I am gonna start going through everything and giving you a rundown at year it's not it's not really for me to say but there's been ups and downs aren't there it's been a mad one I just hope you're all having a lovely Christmas and a, a lovely holiday and a lovely break wherever you are in the world and um, I know there's a lot of there's like good and bad in there because it's it's bad for me because of the the commercial side of things. They're like pumping adverts into you and telling you to spend this, spend that. When a lot of us, me and me, I've, my business is on its ass. My landscaping and and you just feel this pressure to consume. The consumerism is just so rife at this time of year. And if you can't keep up with that, you know you can't afford to buy your family and buy other people presents. Then it can make you feel like shit mate so I'd say don't get caught up in all that sort of stuff the good side of it though yeah it's bad for the capitalism and consumerism but the good side is I think it's brought families closer together even though we can't be together it's brought us closer together and I miss people this year it's my first year without a lot of people and I miss them dearly I'm sure you all do too and I just want to say thanks to everyone who's liked or shared or commented or just reached out in any way this year to me and helped support me and, and just, it's been a mad one, but thank you to every one of you and Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, group hug and uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon, how can I walk off from this? We can't, can I? I'll get down here like that, see you later. See you later, I love you, bye.